Hello, so not done a video for a while, um, but I thought I'd give you a little update. So the pandemic screwed me over a bit, um, got a bit sad, uh, so I didn't really make anything for a while. Um, but also I had to move house in that time, and so I took apart my sort of workshop, as such as it was, um, and I've moved into a house uh, that needs a lot of work. And so I thought I'd show you some of it, um, show you some of the work that's required and why I can't quite put my workshop together. Uh, so there's no electrics in one of the rooms, which is the one that's in the extension past the bathroom. This house is from 1887. I'm not going to show you the front of the house because it's a bit doxing. Um, you could like reverse Google image search it, I think. Uh, but it's a lovely old building. It's got uh, some interesting sort of brick walls. So you can see here, it's got this different thing where you've got a long brick, a sideways brick. I don't know how, I think it's like a Flemish bond or something or a garden bond or something like that. Anyway, so it's an old house, um, extended in the late fifties. So there's some interesting stuff and it's got an awesome garden, which I'm going to show you shortly. Anyway, so that's the point. I haven't done a video for a while, but it's not because I don't want to or because I haven't done any projects, but I haven't really got anywhere to build anything permanent. So I've been doing a lot of programming and stuff over on Twitch. So if you're into that kind of thing, I've been doing some Twitch interactive stuff so you can come over and watch that if you want. But I've been really enjoying Twitch. It's been a real good laugh. Um, kind of enjoy watching people play games as well, it turns out. But yeah, hopefully uh, in... I don't know, by March maybe, I should have new electrics in the house, which will mean I can then get plasterers in to redecorate because when they do the electrics, they have to carve up walls and stuff. It's very disruptive. Um, and the room that I want to have my workshop in has no electrics, so it's not useful. So yeah, one March time, we'll be getting back to it, making projects again time, I think, because I've missed my hobby. I really have. Uh, what else? Oh, I got a bit fat. <laughs> so my camera battery just died. I can't find the charger. It's in a box somewhere. So I'll finish what I'm saying here, um, which is my office. So when I work from home, this is where I work. Um, also when I do any kind of streaming on Twitch, this is where I am too. Um, so yeah, I got, I put on a bit of weight. <laughs> Uh, like almost a couple of stone, which is, um, is a lot for me. I don't really go up and down that much. Um, maybe like half a stone over, you know, the year up and down. Um, but not playing football, not doing any exercise. Well, I do exercise. I walk every day, like an hour, but, um, my basically calories in versus calories out, right? So that <laughs> calories in has gone up way, way more than I intended. I picked up bad habits, basically. So um, like, you know, kind of like a couple of glasses of wine a night, like every day, <sighs> kind of pretty bad. I don't mind admitting it. It's not like hugely shameful. It's just a bad habit. Um, so I need to sort of reset so I've decided that's what I'm going to do. And, and so suddenly I feel a bit better about myself. Uh, so I thought I'd do this little video to say, hey, um, and that projects will be coming back uh, at some point. Not yet. Um, the house needs too much work. Uh, so there's a lot to do before I can prioritize making myself a workshop. Plus this space here where I'm going to be, it might actually become the workshop. I'm not sure yet. Um, I think it'll probably be the the back room off the the bedroom that looks out over to, onto the garden that will be the workshop because it's sort of a slim room um it'll be perfect for like a workshop though so we've got lots of plug sockets like this they're in the skirting board <laughs> so that means they're pretty old um and that exists all throughout the house we've also got the bathroom i'm not even kidding this is uh possibly the weirdest part of it you're gonna to get to see all my toiletries and that but <laughs> it's a lovely color isn't it and then um i'm having to use sort of a shower thing off the taps because in here let me turn the light on not that it will do a lot uh we've got like a really old let's see if i can focus on it no idea if it's focused i'm just going to assume it is there we go <laughs> Look at that shower. It is uh, an Alflow, Alflow five kilowatt shower. 
it doesn't work, but the light comes on. I'm going to turn it on. Hopefully it doesn't make me wet. So it doesn't work. Whoa, I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to just turn that off. It's a bit freaky. So lots needs to change in here. I've got polystyrene ceiling in here. And then just off this room, off the bathroom, believe it or not, uh, I'm not uh, sort of sorted out in here, but there's another room. This room has no plug sockets, but you do get a sort of a nice view out into the garden from here. Let's just uh, adjust this. The window's blown out the seal on it, so I'm gonna have to get a new one, but brilliant garden. I'll take you out there in a second. Lots of work going on in the house. We've got uh, lots of stuff coming off the walls. There was wallpaper all over the place here. So if I just open this door, this bit's been left. Um, you can probably see, oh, we've got some banding on here because of this weird light. Um, this textured wallpaper was all over the place. This wall's coming down and gonna create a corridor through the, through the toilet here. It's got one of these old school ones. Gonna have a corridor going through there to the extra room. I'll talk about that in a second. So this house has got very old electrics. As you can see here, these, uh, these switches. Don't like them, they make a funny noise, kind of a buzzing noise. <laughs> so a uh, little bit out of date. Got more all over the house, there's some here. And some dodgy light placement where the original, is it cornicing? I'm not quite sure where that was. Um, <laughs> there's no light anymore put my other side anyway so this is the living room it's in a bit of a state I've I mean I've been here like three months now but I haven't really done a lot it says work oh hello work that I need to do but work that I'm not comfortable doing or would like to get a professional in to do uh, you can see weird black paint here I think this is some kind of waterproofing or something like that uh, but the walls aren't in good nick so I need to get these sort of skimmed at some point uh, but it is nice, it's a nice size, really like it, I like all the features, got some really big sort of skirting boards, huge skirting boards. If I put my foot next to it, you can see, as a, compared to these other ones. Uh, another thing in the house that I find really interesting is the tiles that are still here, the original ones. Oh, let's see if I can pull this back. You can see the original tiles there. Um, so that will come out. Well, I'll reveal those at some point in the future. But I want to get everything else done first. Uh, let me show you the electrics. The white balance in here is terrible. Plus there's weird banding from these horrid lights. This is the kitchen extension. Um, and it's got <laughs> this sort of fuse box on it. Um, so fairly old. I'd imagine that's around 1960s maybe 50s this extension would have been built in the late 50s early 60s so that would date it pretty well so this will be is, is currently my least favorite bit of the house it's the basement or cellar depending on where you're from in the world i've got a light on because uh it isn't great down here and i don't want to walk into a spider's web Oof. Okay, so I'll just head down here. So this is where the electrics are. Don't get in a spider's web. Ugh. So this is a. Uh, this is where the coal chute would have been. So coal would have been dropped just down there, like right outside the front door, basically. You'd throw it down this chute. Can I get any closer without getting spidered up? Well, a little bit. Look at how grim it is here. Blech. So coal would have been deposited down that chute. Don't know if the chute goes anywhere. I haven't enjoyed coming down here, so uh, <laughs> I'll just go to the main room of the cellar. I've got this big, big old wooden door thing here. What's this big metal thing? Oh, it's not. I don't remember what that is. Anyway, so this is, this is the cellar. Uh, it's not all that nice. A lot of sort of detritus here. Got the old lath and plaster ceiling 
which uh, is falling down and leaving stuff everywhere. Got lots of old bits and bobs. There's a, a bit for the fire just there, uh, but loads of old lath and plaster battens around some old mirrors. This is really kind of cool, but not very useful. Uh, part of an old boiler, it looks like. There's a drain that's gonna need to get cleared out. And that's where there would have been a window to the outside of the building, but now it's now gone. Uh, this is the electric, so that's the main cable coming in, which looks freaking terrible. Uh, looks <laughs> pretty old, but whatever. Um, and then we've got the sort of incoming supply. That's what it's, m it's measuring the electricity I'm using. This is the earth cable here. And I think you see that, uh, whoops, the little black one that goes up behind that board comes along here and goes to the main fuse board. And you've got this other earth cable going to that single supply there, which I think was for the stair lift that was in here. But this is, <laughs> these are the electrics. So you can see it's got some more modern cables in there, but uh, throughout the rest of the house in the walls and stuff, there's a lot of older, older cables. So this is gonna have to be replaced. It's a fairly big job. Um, and again, not one that I'm comfortable doing. Look at all this weird stuff. And a lot of junk from, from years and years. Look, there's an, <laughs> there's an old shoe there, sort of disintegrating one just there as well. What are those things? Did the bloody builders leave those here before? I had my boiler replaced and I think they've left some rubbish. Uh, where they put a new pipe in. So I got them to change the gas pipe uh, from that thing over there to disconnect all of the old gas fires. But this is the reason that I bought the house was because of this massive garden. We'll take a quick walk up so you can have a look. Under here may be an air raid shelter. Well, I'm fairly sure there is. We've, I've pulled up this slab to have a look and there's a, a brick foundation that goes down pretty far. But it looks like at one point they turned it into uh, like a greenhouse thing. Uh, so the garden goes up quite a ways. I'll turn around and show you in a second how far we've come. Uh, but it's not, it continues past this bush. So I'll turn around from here. So it's pretty cool. And then there's a, an extra bit. I don't know how many meters this is, but pretty big. There's a foxes run along here. You come through that hole there. So I've got like this nice secluded section, which I really like. Anyway, let's go back. So yeah, in a few months, maybe four months, certainly by the summer, um, I should be in a good position to um, get back to my hobby, which is making stuff, sharing it, um, like making mistakes, exploring things and telling you all what I thought about something. Um, I sort of stopped doing tutorials a long time ago, mainly because I hated when I got something wrong and then got told off in the comments, I still don't mind getting told off in the comments, but when, if I did tutorials and I, there were loads of times I got something really fundamental wrong. Um, and it's because I didn't really understand, I jumped into things without understanding the subject. So I'll be doing less of that and a bit more, not less of that. I just don't do that anymore. But my kind of thing now is, oh, look, here's me learning how to do something or exploring something. So take from it what you will. Um, but again, I'm not really done much for a while. I've started doing that Twitch thing. I've posted some things about Twitch on YouTube and um, God, what even was the last YouTube video I made? Let's have a look. I really can't remember. It must've been a while ago. Let's see. This feels like it's a bit, I'm treating this a bit more like a stream, even though it's pre-recorded video. So the last thing I did was a USB HDMI capture dongle repair. My God, that was weird. I was, my desk was back there before, um, and I dragged out the soldering iron from a box. Um, 
and before that, the last one was in my old house. So, yeah, you won't you won't really see much from me unless it's a on the computer only thing. I'm doing quite a lot of that though, um, on the computer only thing. So I've just made a a magic eight ball in After Effects and uh, and program it up so it can be a a channel point reward on on Twitch. If you don't use Twitch, it's essentially a place where people go and watch people do live streams. Mostly it's a gaming thing. And I enjoy watching people play games on online. It's nice if you pick someone, find someone with a cool personality that you like watching. Anyway, I do it too, but not to a large extent, certainly not regularly. But I get to have people interact with channel point rewards, which is really, really fun. Anyway, this was just meant to be a, hey, I'm still alive kind of video. And I am just about, <laughs> just about still alive. Need to lighten, lighten the load a little bit. But um, I will speak to you all again at some point. Maybe I'll find some other projects I can do on Twitch that I can share here. If I can breadboard it, then that's easier because I, I don't really have the place to be able to do much here. Not safely and certainly not comfortably. I wouldn't enjoy it. So in the future, we'll do something. All right. Um, bye.